Good morning, which it will probably be evening by the time that you're watching this, but I'm getting myself together. It's bright and early. We've got a full work day ahead of us. We're going to go burn brush and clean up our property and all of that. So that's why I'm not going to fix my hair. I've got my work clothes on. My husband has gone over to help out one of our friends and do something for him. And so while he is gone, I just wanted to show you some of the things that I got on Amazon. So I got this uh, sunscreen. It's an SPF 70. It's the Neutrogena. I have an SPF of 30, but I needed more SPF, especially since we're outside because you can't tell, but my face did get really tan yesterday. And then the other thing that I got that I was out of is some eye drops. I use an eye drop every single day. And so this is the one that I'm trying out. Sustain is my favorite brand, but we're going to give Refresh um, a try and uh, see how we like it. So I'm happy to get some eye drops because I have been out of those for weeks now. And then I did get some more uh, eye makeup remover. This is Clinique. I can't get this one out. But it's, it's just like this. It's the best eye makeup remover. I have tried to find a cheaper alternative, but this one is just my favorite. It is the absolute best. So... I was happy to get it. And then today in the mail, I have some new razor heads coming, which I showed you which razor that I use. So I'm excited about that. And then I did get two more things. So I will show those to you here in just a second. But we're going to end uh, this video with reading um, some scripture from this morning's uh, devotional. So we'll do that. It's from In Touch with Dr. Charles Stanley. And I love him. You know, he passed away. It's been like two weeks. When I found out, I cried. You know, I actually got to go to First Baptist Church of Atlanta uh, when me and my husband were dating. And so I got to see him before he stepped down from being pastor of First Baptist Church of Atlanta. And it was just a really cool, neat experience. And it was during Christmas. We got to sing Christmas songs, so it just made it that much better. So... But Dr. Charles Stanley has made such a huge impact in my life. He has saved my life and taught me so much stuff over the years. And I will truly miss him. But I know for sure that he's sitting by the right hand of God. And that uh, we are all going to be able to see him again one day. But what a great man he is. Also, I'm going to sit down and reply to some of the comments. We're super busy, but in between, if I take a break or something like that, I'm just going to reply to some comments. I've got some awesome comments on my last video, so thank you so much for all your love and support. Like, people have shared, hey, I'm experiencing this too, and then they have given me scripture, which I did sit down and look up last night. Lydia, you gave me some scripture, and it was fantastic. I sat down looked each of those up and the meaning and stuff and drew strength and encouragement from that. So your comments, they do make a difference. Do you see the power flash? <laughs> I told you the power flashes in this house. It's, I don't know if it, there's a short or what, but, and then um, somebody shared their experience as well um, that, you know, anyways, she's 39 years old. They tried to have a baby for 15 years, but you know, just hearing her story and everything like that, it made the biggest difference because, you know, I'm not the only one. Um, our friends that David's going to help out right now, they would love to have a baby. They've had many m miscarriages. David has a cousin. They spent a fortune trying to have a baby. And, you know, it just, it wasn't in the plan for them, apparently. <clears throat> so, it's just confusing to me, right or wrong when I say this, but it's like, we all know drug addicts or people who use meth or anything like that. And, you know, I don't want to label people like that, but those are people that we know are actively using drugs and they pop out 10, 12 children, don't take care of them. Everybody else is taking care of them. But then there's certain people that would just die to have a baby and love it and take care of it. But I don't know. It's just, um, we can trust God's plan for our life. I know that. And that was some of the comments uh, that I was getting to. But I'm just rambling now. Let me show you the other things that I got. I wanted to sit down and do like a proper Amazon haul video. But I just don't have time for that in this season of my life. So this is the way that I have to do it. But um, I got two ice packs. Because every single day I pack us a cooler with lots of cold waters in it. 
one of my ice packs got a hole in it. These have really good reviews, so I'm excited to try them. I didn't freeze them last night because I wanted to keep everything new in the package so I could show you, but um, yeah, we ain't got time for that. I'm going to put these back in the freezer and get those really good and ice cold, and then I have to pack the cooler, and then I've got my work bag. I've got, you know, like my safety glasses and um, a headlamp. I've got several pairs of gloves, some bug spray, you know, just all of the essentials that you need. And then this is what I'm the most excited about. This is Wells Lamont. These are excellent gloves. They've been around for a very long time and uh, they're actually made in uh, the United States. But my gloves, I mean, I have blisters all over my fingers from using rakes and tools and things like that. I need a pair of scissors to cut this, but these are the women's gloves. These are a size medium. And what I really love about these gloves is all of the cushion and the padding. This is leather here in the middle. So hopefully I won't have as many blisters, but I love them. I'm going to wear these suckers out. These are the ones that I've been using. I've got several pairs of them. I had a pack of them, but they just, they're just, they don't have enough cushion or padding in them. So I will save those for like dirt work, but this is going to be for like, you know, using a hoe or a matic or a rake, getting in there, picking up limbs, whatever I have to do. But I am super excited for my new work gloves. So stoked about that. But Let's read that scripture and then I'm going to get my cooler packed up and get ready to head out for the day. We'll give you some updates on the property and exactly what we've been working on. Um, I've been taking before and after pictures, but I'm going to wait uh, until we get just a few more things done and then I'm going to show you that. So like I said, I am going back to work, so it's going to be a little bit harder to make videos but I don't want to lose this, this friendship, this connection that I've had from YouTube because you guys have meant so much to me. So I'm going to try uh, to make videos and keep it going. But I have a few things in mind that I'm wanting to do. And then we have got to finish decluttering because we are so close to being done. There's more stuff that I want to get rid of. Um, but life is about to come become very very busy even busier we'll end this video with some scripture so it's psalm and it's chapter 31 and it is verse 24 and it says be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart all ye who hope in the lord so be of good courage you know just continue to seek and pray uh, for the Lord to instruct and guide us because in uh, verse um, 8 in chapter 32 it says I'll instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go but just uh, if we seek the Lord wholeheartedly with everything in us he will instruct us he will teach us but just make sure that you know we are in the word of God because this is our instruction manual and make sure that we are taking time to pray and connect with our holy God and, um, you know, just casting all of our burdens and our care upon a him because he cares for us. So we can turn to him no matter what we're facing, you know, just seek him and everything in your life, you know, don't let him be a Sunday kind of God to you, you know, allow him to enter into your everyday life in your everyday decisions and everything in your life. And he will instruct us. He will take care of us. Okay. We just have some hard times that come up. But when hard times come up, that's not the time to turn away, turn your back on him and, you know, be rebellious and just be angry and mad at God. That's the time to, you know, truly seek him and let his perfect work be done and let him grow our faith. There's a lot of things in this life that we don't understand. And you know what? Probably not going to understand until we get to heaven. But, you know, we can trust Almighty God. Yeah. He is going to be there for us. He is there for us. And, and he's got good plans for us. But anyways, I love you. Have a good day. And uh, I'll plan on seeing you um, sometime next week.